In this work, we built an open source tool to predict the delivery trajectory for a new DICOM treatment plan. The tool uses a machine learning model that's trained using prior trajectory log files, as is illustrated here. The training data included 116 IMRT plans and 125 VMAT plans that were collected over a two-month period on nine different linear accelerators of two different machine models. A number of machine learning algorithms were evaluated, and the training models were developed independently for IMRT and VMAT. In addition, we verified whether a training model developed for one linear accelerator could be applicable to another linear accelerator, and whether a generalized model for all linear accelerators could be developed with sufficient accuracy. Shown here are the results for the prediction model for IMRT, where each point on the graph represents an individual field delivery, and each color on the graph represents a different linear accelerator. On the left, you can see the plot of the actual MLC error per field versus the predicted MLC error per field. The dashed line represents a perfect prediction. The linear accelerator represented by the orange points had the worst prediction. The MLC for this linear accelerator is later serviced at which point the prediction improved. And shown here is the results for the VMAT prediction model. The prediction model is made openly available as a tool for approximating radiotherapy delivery via informed simulation, or TARDIS for short. Here, I would like to demonstrate how to use the TARDIS GUI. So there are three steps. The first one is that I choose the uh, input icon RT print file you have. So you just click the open here and choose the like, print here. The icon RT print here, I have a line. I'm RT print with seven fields. And you click open. After that, you choose now what kind of the machine learning model you want to do the prediction. So I have a multi print and I choose that. Just randomly choose the boosted tree here. After that, you can click if you want to add the random error when they predict the MLC error and the percentage of the confidential error. And after that, you just click run. And after you click run, you will try to predict the MLC error for each control point and for each day. And after that, they will like, show the room mean square error and the maximum of the predicted MLS error. And also, back to here, you, there will be a like, generated uh, DICOM file with the predicted MLC position in here, so they will be ready to bring port back to the German printing system. And for each field, they will generate a CSV file. They will include in, like, the predicted MLS error and also the predicted MLC position, and also the MLC motion parameters. So that's how to use the target speed.